Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street Tarot and Seasons and Ritual, and I'm here to wish you a happy full super harvest moon. It is September 29th, and we're one more day, and then we're into October. This, to me, is a very important moon, not only because it is the fourth super moon that we've had, but because it, to me, it really highlights the importance of the balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine energy that is coming onto this planet. The um, the divine feminine is here and she has risen and she's not going anywhere. And so it is important for us to lean into that. That divine feminine energy is creation. It is patience. It is... Um, listening right it is our intuition and when i say patience which is important because we are in an aries um full moon it is under it's understanding to when um when you when you run out of them right we, you've had enough patience with the situation you have been sitting in um understanding you have been working with creating new solutions and there comes a time <clears throat> in everyone's life when they need to read the room and decide okay I think this is the time to move on okay it is okay to be all out of patience right and I think that is one of the themes of this full moon as well it's really going to start to highlight the areas where we just need to be out of patience okay we've we've gone on with this long enough and uh, it's time. It's time to move forward. So let's go over the nuts and bolts, I guess I would say, of this moon. I did pull a card from the um, Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle Guidebook for the collective. It's a super cute deck. Um, so I'm going to share that with you as well. But let's get a little bit into the nuts and bolts. So, <clears throat> of course, when it's a full moon... Um, the sun and the moon are opposite of each other, and the moon is reflecting the sun's rays. So the moon is in Aries, and the sun is in Libra. Aries and Libra are both cardinal signs, so I see this as big, a big moon for um, all cardinal signs, um, Cancer and Capricorn as well. <laughs> Maybe you guys have had enough. <laughs> Maybe you're out of patience. Um, but at the same time, um, we will, all of us will be feeling this. And um, the good thing though about Libra, right? So let's say we are out of patience. Um, the good thing about Libra is that it's going to help us stay balanced while we tell the situation that we're out of, that we're out of patience and it's time to move forward. Um, Libra is ruled by Venus and Aries is ruled by Mars. So again, we have that divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. Um, you know, Aries is the self, right? Aries is um, who, who we are. And then Libra is more about um, everyone, right? Libra is balance. Libra is an air sign. So Libra is... Um, more cerebral while Aries is fire right which is um who we are right um, um our solar plexus <clears throat> but what is interesting though <clears throat> I don't you know you guys I do these things I do these warm-up exercises I sing a few bars and then I come on here and then my voice gets all caca. Okay. First and foremost, I don't sing a few bars, but I felt like that was the right thing to say. Um, but I'm sorry that my voice feel, sounds a little caca. Um, so what's interesting though, is that Libra is air. So it's cerebral. Well, Aries is also about the head, right? Aries rules the mind. Um, and so, so this is interesting in the fact that we're going to be using a lot of mental energy in order to move us forward, which is good in a sense, um, because if we can bring in that logic from Libra, right, um, then Aries is going to help move us through. Like, I, like, I'm not doing this anymore. I see the situation clearly. It's time to move on, which is also really good to keep us moving out of that age of Pisces illusionary um lower Piscean vibe, right? That high, that higher Piscean vibe is like, okay, let's cut bait and go. Um, 
let's see what else did i write down mars is in libra at this time so we have that divine masculine you know we have the ruler of aries in libra at the same time again um i wrote down at the time of the super moon um venus will be square to uranus at the time of this um super moon so when that square energy comes in it is it, it it's that chess match right it is okay how do we move forward and uranus again is the revolution uranus is the future um uranus is the rebellion and so it is really important with this super moon um you guys to <laughs> maybe make a little list of what you're all out of patience with um you can burn that list safely if you so wish um and then at the same time, make a list of the things that you want to come in. This is a really, this, this moon to me is all about action. It's all about movement. So, and it's all about, and you know what, it's all about keeping faith, which is interesting because this is the, um, that is the card that I pulled actually out of this little, um, moon Oracle deck. So the, the, the super moon tonight or today, actually during the day, you're going to fill this for the next three days. See what's, see what's in front of you. Um, again, this cardinal energy is all about getting things started. Um, Libra's cardinal, Aries is cardinal. Um, and again, of the nodes, North Node, Aries, right? Um, Aries, North Node is what we are striving for as a collective. The South Node is what we're leaving behind. So if we are leaving behind, the lower vibration of Libra, which maybe would be not putting yourself first, right? Aries is the self. So that is about putting itself first. Um, and also maybe having too much patience with things, um, Libra, because you want everyone to be okay, or, you know, I was gonna say feel seen and heard. Um, at the same time, if it's not working, it's not working and it's time to move on. So if we can use that Aries confidence, right? That that thing of Aries, like, okay, we've got to keep moving forward. And you can look at Libra and see and give little Libra a hug. That Libra, like, hey, buddy, I got it. What you're trying to do and keep the peace and, um, you know, try, try to keep things balance the best way you could, you know, give that Libra side of you a hug and say, you've done a really good job. At the same time, it's okay to move forward because we know there's more out there. And, and the stuff that we're leaving behind and the stuff that we aren't taking with us is going to be healed, you know, give it hugs and kisses and you can heal it. Um, because a lot of times the people or places or things or situations that we were placating it's not helping them anymore either. They need new ideas. They need new energy. They need uh, a better way to show up. And so Aries is coming in and saying, you know what, we can move forward. Libra, that's going to give us um, a new way to balance out this brand new energy of this, is something more balanced with that masculine and feminine within us. In Libra, you're going to feel empowered, right? You're going to say like, oh, now I get it. Now I understand and i'm talking about just not two libras but the libra in all of us okay the aries in all of us um okay now i can balance out this new energy that needs to be here and that old energy you know it gets transmuted you know it's it's not like it's sitting there on the playground um like a pouty child you know um it says oh well, it's got plenty of options you know it gets transmuted i mean it can stay it can just stay in its own energy or it says oh, okay yeah this is actually um better for everyone because now we're all moving forward you know it's it's that right that's that venus square uranus that uranus coming in and saying okay venus um you're all about you know work self-worth um you're about um money but you're also about grounding things you know you're about the earth you're about creativity right so let's we got to move this into the, um, into the future, <laughs> which is now. Okay. Um, 
and Uranus will bring in those answers. Libra, you're an air sign. You can bring in those answers to move us forward, to get us into balance, you know, to bring in that divine feminine. Aries, you'll move us f- forward to bring in that divine feminine, to lift up that divine masculine, right? To get us out of that old, um, those old toxic realities and those old toxic stories that are falling. Um, remember Jupiter and um jupiter and uranus are both in taurus taurus is um, ruled by venus so again i can't stress enough this divine feminine divine masculine energy that is just pummeling the planet right now so you guys feel free to go lay in the moon and just soak it all up just soak it all in you know um especially if you can lay in the earth right because that is um venus venus is the earth and so it is also this it is also this way to be a better steward for mother earth and and you guys just because like stories aren't in the headlines or in the news about ways people are really thinking about taking care of earth doesn't mean it's not there you know that energy of that we've got to be a better steward for earth you know is there and i guess maybe it is a little bit cuz this whole thing with the um maybe with the car unions and stuff and like going green, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm stretched, but maybe not. I mean, it's there. It's about um, green stuff. So, um, so, so, so know that that Venus energy is earth, right? It is about being grounded. It is about being connected. Um, Venus rules Libra. Okay. Just, just to bring it back around. Um, and so it is showing how we all are connected, but it is all showing that we can get that individual fire and move us all forward, right? This is the time. I wrote in my notes, carpe fucking diem, okay? Mars and Venus energies are affected and energized. Okay, you guys, let's, um, you know, and see, I mean, and see, what your intuition is saying, you know, it's going to tell you. And it's like, and the thing is, if you don't have the path, but you know, I am all out of patience with this, just say, I am out of patience with this and I'm ready to move forward. Or you can say, I am moving forward. I allow myself to move forward. I'm looking for the signs to get me the hell out of here. All those things, right? Claim it. This energy is moving us, moving us, moving us. Okay. And also know, um, we're moving into October, which is eclipse season. So <laughs> make that list of the things you're out of patience with, because when October comes in, things are going to be happening really fast. Um, eclipses, eclipse things in, eclipse things out. Pluto is going to turn or station direct on the 10th, which it just dawned on me. That's the 10, 10 portal. So let's get ready to rock. The super moon it's kind of a preview. I I imagine that of all the things that are going to keep changing in moving swift, swiftly, especially through um, October. Uh, I'd say actually through the end of fall for sure. Okay. So the little card that I pulled for us today, it says faith. Isn't that a sweet little card? Okay. It says faith, ancestors, memory, eternal. You are made of all the generations that came before you, your mother, her mother, and her mother, all whom you were created from. Whether you physically knew these strong women or not, you have inherited traits and mannerisms through your bloodline. This family line goes far back. It is somewhat, this family line goes so far back, it is somewhat inconceivable. Look for signs of guidance in answers to your questions from your loved ones who have now passed. They will offer you protection and help you follow your destined path if you call on them. Show them your appreciation by honoring their lives with a sacred altar space. This can simply be lighting a candle in their memory, acknowledging their important lives while here on earth. The intention with this little card. Embrace your love and memories Embrace your love and memories of a loved one or a beloved pet. Know their spirits are with you daily here on this earthly realm. We are honored. We are bound to our ancestors and to those who made us, whether we want to be or not. 
What matters is what we make of what we are. What matters is what we make of what we are. That's that Aries energy. You are who you are now. Aries says, go for it. Love it. Light it up. Here I am, right? And Libra says, let's think about this. <laughs> Libra says, who, how, how do we show up as who we are authentically? How does that make us feel? And the things that make us feel out of balance about showing up by who we are, that's what we, we don't need to have patience for that. That's what needs to go because we can show up, we can be in balance. Um, we don't have to keep putting ourselves in situations that make us feel out of balance. Okay. We can just say that's, that's enough. I'm, this is who I am. Um, I feel good. You know, I'm moving forward. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, happy full harvest moon. I love the harvest moon, right? It says that um, <clears throat> we're going into this beautiful season of the ancestors. I think it's really interesting that that's the card that came up in that um, that was mentioned. So if you guys have any questions or comments, always, you know, put them below. Um, you can reach out to me if you want to schedule um, a session. Um, my link tree will be below like and subscribe all those things and have a great full supermoon.